Hello, hi, welcome back. Today I'm showing you how I did these half airbrush, half flash gel with chrome nails that have a hand-painted Sailor Moon sticker on them. If you are new here, I am Cheyenne, and this is my channel where I film behind the scenes nail stuff. Hopefully you are having a good day wherever you are and whatever you are doing, I'm doing okay. I recently realized I was using the wrong terminology in some of my nail videos for the eponychium and felt slightly depressed about this. Unfortunately, I didn't realize for quite a few videos. I want to say that I do know what I'm doing, but I did make a pretty silly mistake. I'd like to move on and hopefully anyone who noticed will forgive me. Also, feel free to comment if I say something wrong. I never want to claim that I am perfect or that I know everything. I just like making nail videos. Since I am chronically tired, I tend to forget things and make these kinds of mistakes, but lucky for me, it shot into my brain after reviewing a sheet of nail anatomy. Anyways, I'm going to move forward and learn from my mistake and try my best. Here I'm using a special repair base that has plant fibers in it. It's from the brand Nail Parfait. It fuses together and helps strengthen repairs. When I build the nail, I use a flexible base and then a hard gel on top to build some structure. And then I turn the hand upside down. Since I will be adding layers to the top of the art, I won't make this too thick. I flash cure the nails for about four to five seconds and move on to the next nail. On this side of the nails, I'm doing a flash gel, then I'm doing an iridescent purple chrome on top. It looks way cooler in life, but I tried to capture it as best as I could. After the matte top coat is cured, I'm prepping the nails with a pink latex barrier. I cured some gel into the cuticle area and it looks like a little ridge, so I'm using this tiny carbide bit very gently to remove that gel. After I put on a non-wipe top coat, I rub this iridescent purple chrome onto the nails. It sort of makes them look like 3D opals. This look is pretty popular right now and I really wanted to try it. I put the chrome on and then I put a layer of hard gel on top so that the chrome won't chip and then I cure. Then I dab some clear gel onto the center of the nail and then I add cute heart-shaped glitters. After the heart-shaped glitters, I just add a top coat and then this side is done. So I thought I was filming the pink side of the nails, but I guess I pressed the wrong button. Fortunately, it's the same method I'm doing on the purple side. I'm just painting sort of a loose fade on half of the nail. Then I cure it and do the other color. It's very easy. Since I'm using a paint that needs to be cured in thin layers, if I don't get the opacity I want, I will cure and repeat the step. After I've cured the nails, I took out my little flower stencils. If you live in America, these are from Nail Labo. I'm also using their air gel, which is nice, but unfortunately hard to get here. I 
I cleaned my airbrush and changed my color to white. Now I'm going over the stickers until I think they will look nice. After I peel the stencil, I flash cure the nails. I repeat the process adding more flowers to different areas of the nail. I wanted to do some flowers with white inside instead of inverted, so I cut out the stencil border and use it as a stencil. After the stencils are done, I cure the nails and then I added an iridescent glitter to the airbrush nails, but I also didn't film that, so you will see it in the reveal. It's very pretty. If you watched my previous nail vlog, you would have seen me make this sticker. I'm placing it on a wiped, non-wiped top coat, then I paint the rest of the hair with gel. This is a good method for painting something large that you don't want to peel from the sides of the nail. I cover the nail with a clear gel or a hard gel. Then I add some flower glitters. Now onto my favorite step actually, cuticle oil and hand cream. These are key steps of home care that every client should practice at least two times a day. If you are a client or a nail lover and want to protect your investment and respect your artist's work, please do this step. For my hand care line, please subscribe to my mailing list. The link is in the description to be notified when my next drop will happen. This will most likely be in March. Also, airbrush can sometimes be messy with a barrier. It can stick to the skin, so I sometimes use a 240 grit file after the fingers are oiled to help remove this. It's never perfect, but it does help. So on to the final reveal. Also, I'd like to say thank you if you are watching this video. I hope that you continue watching my nail videos and have a great day. Okay, also comment a flower emoji if you made it this far. Thanks.